Clay was like an earthen pot, in the hands of a great porter. Clay returns to Clay. Arise in the land of the living. The Akubi, Bana Bantu production. Yakubi Bana Bantu, Mutoto Wa Kibantu, Bana Bermuntu. Bana Bermuntu. In the study of religion and ideas, scholars have often treated the problem of similarities very superficially, dismissing some religions and cultural traditions as lacking originality and authenticity. This stems from a theological bias, a feeling of superiority for one's own tradition and culture, or from preconceived notions. The hymn to the Aten, composed by the pharaoh Akhenaten around 1300 BC, shows undoubted similarities to the biblical Psalms 104. At the time of the writing, Egyptians, they had many deities. Akhenaten chose to believe in only one, Aten, the sun. Psalms 104 was written between 500 and 900 BC as a song of praise to the Creator. Bible defenders actually argue whether these two hymns are related by way of Atom influencing Psalms or whether both were written independently, which by the similarities and other more documented plagiarized texts from Egyptian sources is hard to dispute. Him to Aten is basically about how the sun plays a big role in sustaining the human life. The source and sustainer of life being the sun, Aten. Psalms 104 is also about the creation and sustenance of life. The psalm, allegedly written by King David, is in praise and adoration of God, claiming that God is the creator and sustainer of all that is in existence in this world. As we look closer at the similarities, pay particular attention to the way Psalms describes God as the sun itself. Praise of Ra, thou appearest beautifully on the horizon of heaven. Thou living Aten, the beginning of life. Thou art risen on the eastern horizon. Thou hast filled every land with thy beauty. Thou art gracious great, glistening. Thy rays encompass the lands to the limit of all thou hast made. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honour and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. For thou hast set a Nile in heaven, that it may descend for them, make waves upon the mountains, to water their fields in their towns. The Bible says, He sendeth the springs into the valleys, which run among the hills. All beasts are content with their pasturage. The Bible says, They give drink to every beast of the field. Birds fly from their nests, their wings greeting your car. The Bible says, By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He makes waves on the mountain like the sea, to drench their fields and their towns. The Bible says, he watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. Trees and plants are nourishing. The Bible says, The trees of the Lord are full of sap. 
Thou makest the seasons in order to rear all that thou hast made, the winter to cool them, and the heat. The Bible says, He appointed the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. All creeping things they sting, darkness is a shroud, and the earth is in stillness, for he who made them rests in his horizon. The Bible says, Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. Every lion comes from its den. The Bible says, The young lions roar after their prey. At daybreak, when thou ariseth on the horizon, when thou shinest as the Aten by day. The Bible says, The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together and lay down in their dens. The entire land sets out to work. The Bible says, Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labour until the evening. How manifold it is, what thou hast made. Thou didst create the world according to thy desire. The Bible says, O Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom thou hast made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. The fish in the river dart before you. Your rays are in the midst of the sea. The Bible says, so is this great and wide sea, wherein all things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. The ships are sailing north and south as well. The Bible says, there go the ships. You set every man in his place. You supply their needs. Everyone has his food. The Bible says, that thou givest them they gather, thou openest thy hand, they are filled with good. When you have dawned, they live, when you set, they die. The Bible says, Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled, thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to the dust. From these overwhelming similarities, it's hard to believe that the two texts were written independently hundreds and hundreds of years apart. We will further explore other plagiarized texts in future videos as part of this series. Thank you.